Afternoon folks, I'd like to apologize in advance. I'm on the side of a highway, so sorry for the noise. Anyway, today we're working on an Onan MicroQuiet 4000 series generator. The uh, problem was the carburetor got gummed up, and this is true with any small engine. When you put it into storage and you leave the gas sitting in the bowl of the carburetor for two, three, or six months or a year, it uh, gums up the carburetor. And um, what happened in this case was like the, the needle and seats get jammed and the thing just runs pig rich. And so this spark plug has half an hour, maybe an hour of runtime on it. And just look at how nasty that is. The thing ran for an hour and then it just died and choked out completely rich. And um, I had just changed the oil, but so the, this oil probably has maybe three or, or five hours on it. And it's already black and it smells like fuel. So we're going to have to change the oil again as well. But... I looked up how to replace this carburetor and there was no other videos on that. And so this video kind of covers that. And a, a quick tip because I know a lot of people have this problem and I've figured out how to get over it. When you have a bag full of tools and you want to try and keep your sockets organized, it never happens when you have socket rails. I always lose all of the sockets in the bottom of the tool bag and it's a huge pain. So what I've figured out is that you have your socket rail and you just take a wide piece of masking tape and you put it on one side of the rail. And this has worked beautifully. Uh, at first I tried double siding it, which I found to be actually unnecessary. Just, just one piece is all it needs and that's enough to hold deep sockets, half inch drive sockets. Uh, I double taped that one, I didn't need to. Uh, even my quarter inch drive rail, the finer sockets and everything uh, that works out and then you can see here I have a rail where I keep extensions and special sockets like spark plug sockets and stuff on. You got various length extensions. So that is a quick tip on how to keep your tool bag organized. Now on to this. So uh, if you look here, here's the air cleaner, here's the carburetor and the little inlet manifold. And what you have to do is you take this wing nut off at first and then you take the air cleaner out. And this is how tight of a space this is. And then I tip the air cleaner towards the, the back. And then you can go around the nut and out. And inside here, there are two 10 millimeter bolts. These bolts here are 10 millimeter heads. I used this, it's a deep socket, three inch extension and then a one inch extension. And that puts me exactly past the air cleaner stud so I can get both bolts out. And then after you take those out, uh, this will free flow in here, but this piece is part of the entire fan shroud and everything and it moves with the entire engine. And so this does not come out that easily. But what you have to do, and you, there's no way around this, what you have to do is you take out this T30 Torx here, and this T30 Torx up here inside the air cleaner housing, you can see just see the silver shiny head towards the end of my finger, right there. And then this here is a T30 as well, this ground for this wire for the carburetor. And then see how this wires back in here? Don't pull on this, guys. Just grab a pair of needle nose pliers, grab the base of this crimp, and then pull on this end with your finger. That pops right out. And there you go. And I have the fuel line pinched off with a pair of vice grips. If you don't know how to set the right pressure to not cut the hose and stuff, I recommend sliding some pieces of tubing over the end of your vice grips, or you can actually get the tool to uh, pinch off the line at the auto parts store. So after you get those two bolts out, now comes the tricky part. And so when you look at this, see how this blade hangs past the housing here? And that's the same for this side, look at that. And see how it's got these weird edges on it? These will cut up your gaskets when you try and slide them out. And when you have the linkage on here, which you can't really take off, this side's the, this side's the throttle, and this side's the choke. 
and they're hooked up back there and you can't really get those off without getting the carburetor out here to to move it around and really wiggle these linkages off i mean i guess you could get them off if you bend the crap out of them but that's not necessary and the reason why is you take that bolt out and you don't have to take this bolt out i just loosened it like most of the way and then the key is to pull this section that direction so grab it like this and just pull as hard as you can and then with your free hand um, make sure one blade's closed and not the other and it actually kind of doesn't matter I took it out with this bigger blade hanging out the side there it gave me plenty of clearance and I just bloop pulled it right out and then at that point you unhook the linkages and then you put the new one on and that's that's pretty much it it should it took me about an hour to do that and then I took the spark plug out and one tip on the uh, generators here because this spark plug is kind of a bastard if you don't know how to do this get a spark plug socket that's got this on the end and the reason why is you can take a in my case a 13 16 wrench and put that over the end so with this sitting up in here like that I mean, you don't have to worry about fitting a ratchet in there. You can just use the wrench to break it loose, and then once it's loose, you can finger it out, back it out, and do whatever you need to do with your spark plug. So uh, I hope this helps a lot of you folks. This should, this should work on more than just the uh, Micro Quiet 4000. I imagine a lot of Onan generators are like this. I've seen quite a few generators that are just like this. So, yeah, that's a quick look into what I'm doing. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please hit the comment box below. Subscribe if you like. And you'll get more of these videos, hopefully on a regular basis. And, yeah, have a good one.